Today it is with a great deal of pride we congratulate Gurpreet for releasing his book on Meva Singh and we recognize the contributions of the Gaddar movement. I was in England recently and I had an opportunity there to meet with activists, young and old, who are struggling to keep this movement alive. And I say struggling. We have gained a lot in this country from the 1900s. We've gained money, we've gained positions, we've got people in professions. And we celebrate. We have the Gadri Babi and the Mela Ajana on the afternoon, Pirapasalana Manana, Appa Bhat functions Kardaya. But my challenge to the community is what are you doing today about the wrongs that are being done, not against, just against the South Asian community, but also the social injustice against the Aboriginal people, the people who are poor, and all the others who are disadvantaged. There is an intersection between the oppressed and there is a pedagogy of oppression. And instead of working together, we all build little silos and become very protective of our silos and want to just stay in our silos and to do the fight. Let me tell you, we have to learn something from the right. And that is the silos have to be broken, we have to hold hands, and we have to fight all the oppressions together. What is happening in immigration today is absolutely outrageous. People here marrying somebody from India or the Philippines or China are basically being asked to have a trial marriage for two years. Just think about that for a second. Because the person who comes in is not going to have permanent residency, full permanent residency, for two years. Families, it's almost impossible to sponsor anybody for family reunification. Only 5,000 applications for all of Canada will be taken in one year. Income increased by 30%. Sponsorship for 20 years. How is this any different than what the struggles were back in the 1900s? If this had happened in, in the 1970s or 80s, I would say that you would have filled up busloads and filled the legislature, filled the House of Commons. But today, I hate to say this, and please forgive me if I'm a bit too harsh, we find it far more comfortable to celebrate Gadri Babbe and to talk about the past because it's far away. And we don't find it, and we don't find it in us to take the steps we need to take, every one of us, to fight what's happening today. We, I get very emotional when I hear about the contributions of uh, my parents, and I say my parents because they struggled too, and of the Gadri Babas and going way back. And we're very, very proud of that, and that's our history, and we need to cherish our history and preserve it. But let's make sure that we're not so busy talking about the past, that in future generations, the only stories we have to tell are the great things done by the Gadri Babas. And when our children turn around and say to you, your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, what were you doing when all these attacks were happening right now? And if I was the great-grandchildren, I would say, shame on you if you do not fight for social justice, for the First Nations people, for our environment, against the immigration policies that are regressive and punitive and undervalue families. So my plea with you, my plea with you today, is I, Gurpreet is one of my heroes. We fight sometimes, like any brother and sister does. Yeah? And because
because he's not scared to raise those issues. And I would ask each and every one of you when you go home tonight to say, what part am I playing in making sure that there is social justice, not just for me, but for all? It's very easy to fight to protect yourself. When you're attacked, I see people who praise Jason Kenney when he comes here, come to my office when they've got something happening in their family in immigration. It's easy to fight for yourself, but what I'm saying to you is, it's far more rewarding when you fight for the collective good. And one thing we should learn from the Gadda movement and from our ancestors is, they understood community. They didn't fight for themselves. They sacrificed for others. And when they had five pennies, they gave up a penny or two in order to make sure people on that ship were fed. And today people are more about, I'm okay. So, uh, I do apologize if I've uh, overstepped uh, my few words, but um, I think it to honor Gurpreet's work is to say, that the movement is alive. The struggle of the Gaddar has to continue because we have not achieved the nirvana and equality that they fought for so hard. So to truly honor the Gaddar movement is to fight for social justice today for each and every one of us. Thank you.